Hey what's going on guys, Dignal here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to utilize the 3D effect in Vegas Pro uh, to create some cool some cool transitions pretty much. Uh, I know this is another transition video, however uh, I hope you enjoy it nevertheless. So uh, what I've got here is just two clips. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is just overlap them. So I'm going to create a new video track. I'm going to split this one, pressing U. I'm going to overlap them by 30 seconds and I'm just going to pull it up just like that. And uh, now we're going to go here, uh, up on this top one. We're going to click on this button if you haven't, or it should should be in here if it's not up here. And you click on 3D Source Alpha. All right, and once we've overlapped them, we're going to go up here and click on Track Motion. So you're going to want to make a keyframe uh, just when the clip starts, which is right there. So just go ahead and make a keyframe. Go 15 frames uh, in and just like make a marker or something. So... Uh, you can just do that here so 15 plus 9 is 24 so you just go to 24 frames and make a keyframe right there so uh on this uh on this keyframe right here i'm just gonna go ahead and redo the track motion thing uh we're gonna want to shrink this to like an appropriate size i'm gonna shoot it to or scoot it to the side just like that and we can go ahead and delete this initial keyframe as well so now we're gonna go to the marker and we're gonna drag it in right there and make sure to center it but now we're going to add a 3D aspect. So uh, if you just click up here, you can just sort of make it look like that, which is quite cool. Uh, so you can like sort of just change around the uh, the 3D aspect and how it looks and sort of that shit. And you can, of course, just like uh, just play around with this. Uh, obviously, don't put it upside down. But like something like that, just to make it a bit cool, you know. And then you just click here and you click on restore box. So uh, if you just go ahead and mute the audio and look at that, as you can see, it looks quite, quite fresh. However, if you don't want it to be that quick, you can extend this by another like 30 seconds. So we go up into uh, just here. I think that should be fine. And we can just instead of uh, just instantly doing that, we can just push this 15 forward. So we just click on here, drag that up there, and we can just copy that and put it like there. So, as you can see, it sort of makes that sort of effect. Now, you need to make this a bit more smooth if that's something you're interested in. So, you need to, like, increase the size of that. And you also need to change the uh, the keyframes around. So, you can just make this one, like, a slow, and then that one is slow, and that one is slow as well. So, as you can see, if we just go and pre-render this part right here... Uh, you know, it looks pretty, pretty fresh, you know, pretty, pretty clean. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick tutorial. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am, uh, I am sick right now. I am, uh, you know, not really supposed to be doing videos. So it's going to be sort of a, sort of a quick one. But, uh, you know, I wanted to push, push something out for you guys. So I'm just doing this. Uh, I, I really appreciate all you guys for, you know, watching. And uh, if you did enjoy this video, you know, make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys tomorrow probably. And uh, peace.